Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in today's video I'd like to talk about something that normally is quite overlooked, but it's actually a very very important feature, at least in my opinion, in a game such as Battlefield 1. But the fact of the matter is, this actually applies to basically any first person shooter out there. What I'm talking about is the color and the customization of the crosshair, and in this video we're going to focus only on the color and the nuance. As you can tell, on my crosshair it's green, but I've been quite careful picking what nuance of green because I don't want to risk that uh, my crosshair blending in with anything green on the map, such as, uh, you know, leaves, grass, anything similar. Now in the past I've actually used the color pink and purple, but being that I'm a content creator, YouTube streamer, um, I do get a lot of homophobic comments using those colors because, you know, they're no normally associated with the girly kind of colors or girly child colors or whatever. But the uh, fact of the matter is that in a game such as Battlefield, purple and pink are actually really, really useful colors for your crosshair. You will see for yourself here, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it for the sake of this video. And if you don't know where you find these customizations, it's uh, you click on options and then you go to gameplay and uh, there you see it if you just scroll down a little bit. Now, some people ask me what's wrong with the default white and uh, maybe one of the more common colors, red. Now, white is a color that I don't like because of, uh, par uh, partly because of the bloom effect when you leave an, uh, a dark room and uh, you look outside, for example, and you see this bloom effect that uh, is normally, uh, yeah, it's very, very bright and if you have a white crosshair, it will blend in with it. Another thing is also that the sky normally is white and as a pilot this affects me quite a bit when I'm trying to chase down an enemy plane. Now depending on what kind of a player you are, this is more or less important depending on whether or not you use hipfire a lot or if you're the kind of player that normally aims down sight. Because as you can tell here, when I'm aiming down sight the crosshair is not visible and it has no effect. Instead it's the design of the weapon that matters and uh, yeah, you might want to think more about customizing your specific weapon than the crosshair. So here's where you have it, options and gameplay not video. As you can tell I had my error there on video because it's you know, easy to confuse the two, but yeah, it's gameplay. And here you have quite a number of different customizations. Also, um, the hit indicator, uh, the hit indicator, uh, headshot indicator, and a lot of uh, different stuff. So yeah, if you didn't know it, uh, the reason why I'm m making this video is because it was brought up in the stream, and quite a number of people actually seem to find this to be a quite important topic. So that's why I'm making this video. And I'm going to leave you here with an explanation that I uh, that I made during the stream, and hopefully this video is going to help you guys out. So big thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next live stream. And gore in the game, you don't want to have red because it will blend it with the blood. If you have a lot of like white, we just explained like North explained there with the um, bloom effect, and also when you when you chase a plane in the sky or whatever, you want to lead, and you need the crosshair for the leading thing. Um, so white is normally bad. I've seen people try orange. I've actually seen, I think, Brecky used orange for a while, as several people. And to me, a pilot on, on Sinai Desert, orange is bad. You know, depending on the thing, uh, depending on what, uh, uh, how, do you, how do you say it? The different kind of orange. There's a certain, you don't say flavor, you say, uh, n new, nuance. The, oh, yeah. Yeah, the nuance. And the same for green. If you choose green or if you choose any kind of blue, the nuance is very important. Uh, yes, money, it's on. It's <laughs> We have taken objective Edward. We have taken objective Butter. We have lost objective Duff. It's not in video. You think it's video, it's gameplay. 
We have lost objective. I data. don't know what color I should go with. Be a tough choice. Purple. Anybody has a f preferred color? It's gotta be pretty bright. I think this. Orange. Uh, orange is too. It's not good when I'm uh, playing in uh, in the desert, in the Sinai Desert. This maybe. Maybe this. We have taken objective apples. Pretty bright. Could be the thing. And you, you don't want to be in a situation where you don't see your own crosshair. That's why I don't like white. And also, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm a pilot. I there's I, I I aim up in the sky a lot, like hunting planes or whatever. Fuck! I can't get through here. I killed him. That was kind of funny. So yeah, I just customize the the color in a way that that makes you uh, comfortable. And remember, the 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 whole point, the whole point with why, why I customize my color the way I do is that you wanna avoid any color that you are likely to have as your background when you aim at your enemy. Ah, in the corner of hell, my body in the corner. We have taken objective. Now he left for revive. Get me, if you get me. He's coming. Oh, How is there so many people on? Thank you. Yeah. The rocket does nothing. 